That is a very angry tarantula. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some rehousings, so let's get into it. Okay, so first we're gonna start off small. This is my mystery species, um, the Kotzezkella, I believe it is. I'm not 100% sure how to say it, but it's a really cool, relatively rare Mexican species. They look really cool as adults, but yeah, this one, as you see, it's grown quite a bit. No, 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 no. Let me make you your enclosure first. So yeah, I wanted to give it a little bit more space. This isn't the biggest upgrade ever, but it will give it a little bit more surface area. Ah, this is so cool. This is a new little tarantula cribs that Mo gave me a couple weeks ago. I know he was really happy with this. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, this is like a newer one, like a newer design. That's cool. So yeah, it'll give it a little bit more space on the top, a little bit more surface area. I'm just gonna scoop it in like that and usually it, it tended to burrow like a lot when it was smaller but now that it's molted a few times I don't see it burrow as much so maybe I'll do like a pinch more substrate but I'm not gonna fill it up all the way and because it's a sling I usually will just put in like a pinch of moss or something just to give them a little bit of coverage so they can make like some sort of hide I'm gonna like do like a little starter burrow by just like poking my finger in and then there's a hole right under that moss and that will be like a perfect little burrow for it to start. It is a little bit speedy so hopefully it'll just walk into this new enclosure. Alright little guy. <laughs> it's like no I don't want to. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta like push them a little. Yeah, this should actually be a really nice little upgrade and right into the hole. Perfect. I would say that it's probably very content in this little enclosure. It's got quite a bit more space up top. And when it molts a couple more times, I'll probably put it in a bigger cube or something. But until then, this is perfect. All right, now we have some big mean ones to rehouse next. So the first one that we need to rehouse is my Zinthus Immunis. I believe that's how you say it. This thing has grown so much. Like, remember I got it as a sling from Tom Patterson? Oh, it's already coming out. <laughs> I don't want you to go the wrong way. Oh, and now it's just like, it grows so fast. It, it really does. So yeah, we are going to just go ahead and pop it and a large slider because I have a feeling it's just gonna keep growing rapidly. So let's go ahead and set this up. I went cork bark and water dish shopping. The best place to get your water dishes from. And by water dishes, I mean your four pack candle holders. Um, so yeah, I don't know what, what cork to use. This is a really cool piece. I bet I could break this right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll be really cool, I think. Just like that. Okay, I think we'll probably leave it around there. Put this in and see. Yeah, I'm gonna like dig it out. This is awesome, I love the green on this. Looks really cool. We'll just do a pinch of moss. I like to put the moss by the water dish, so we will just put this water dish right over here by the moss. So every time I water it, the moss will get, you know, damp. And yeah, okay. I think that's a pretty good enclosure. So let me know how this enclosure is. Comment below. <laughs> because it is a little bit of a damper species, I will pop some of these bad boys in here. These are springtails. Ugh, this thing is so bolty. I'm not looking forward to this. Now, fortunately, it doesn't really have anywhere to go. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna try to tap it this way. Now it won't move. Yes. Mm 
Oh my god, it's so mad. Look at its butt in the air. It looks like it's kicked hair too. That is a very angry tarantula. But look at your new home. <laughs> and we're fine now. Okay. <laughs> now we can get a little bit better look. I'm telling you, this lighting does not do it justice. It has a really cool carapace with like really cool markings on it and everything. But yeah, so this is the enclosure. So now we just have one more to rehouse. So this is another bolty one today. Oh, it just went in there. I hope it stays in there. That will make my life easier. This is my Lazadora striata piece. Confirmed female. I've had her oh, quite a long time, but as you can see, she moves pretty quickly. We have another large tarantula cribs slider. All right. Yeah, yeah. That should be a nice amount. Actually, you know what? This might be better for an arboreal. This is such a cool piece of cork, but I'm gonna break. See, I feel like this would be better for a little arboreal. Dude, this piece, I like this piece. It has moss on it. I love when it has moss or like some color on it or something. It always looks cool. Probably like balance it like that with like a littler piece too. Yeah, that works pretty good. We have this big hunk of frog moss. I love this stuff. It actually like kind of grows and stuff if you rehydrate it or whatever. But yeah, I'm popping that right here. Like I said, the Lazadora striata piece, they are a little bit more moisture dependent. And I just think it'd be cool to put some moss in here since I have it today. Okay, yeah, I just grabbed some water and I will just rehydrate that a little bit. And then here is a water dish. I'm gonna put the water dish down here. First, add in some springtails. So this is the enclosure. I think it looks really nice. But yeah, I really like how this one came out and I think she will do really well in this. Hopefully I can get her out easily. All right, let's try to get her. Are you gonna come with me? <sighs> She's thinking about it. Mm, Ma'am. Which if she stays in her little pot, we can um, easily move her. Oh, stop kicking her. All right, well, there she goes. Oh, hair break. <laughs> so you cannot see her, really, but she's already found a nice little home under here. <laughs> you can kind of see her in the dark. But yeah, cool, awesome. I think she will do really well in this. I think this is a great upgrade. So yeah, I will let her chill. And yeah, that's all the rehousings for today. I still have more rehousings to do though, so don't worry, there will be more rehousing videos soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not, and, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm an Instagram news probably way too much, it's at turns to that cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet pick.